When people started dying in Ukraine because of lies that we identified on Facebook, that Facebook refuses to remove in fact, there's no longer any ability to stay silent. My mom told me once, whatever you do, be the best at what you do. It just so happened that um, what I ended up doing, looking at lots of extremists and putting them in lists, but um, yeah, I, I had to be the best at what I did there. I grew up in Korea uh, and then moved to America when I was three. I studied art history and psychology in college. I did a double major. Psychology particularly helps my work though because it helps me to understand not only like what people are saying, but why they're saying it and what they're getting out of things. That means that I study how people lie and where they lie and where those lies go. My job was to hunt the worst of the worst on Facebook. Neo-Nazis, accelerationists, white nationalists, extremists, terrorists who actively would use Facebook to recruit and even identify targets. We have done about 3,836 different extremists, the worst of the worst on Facebook. When you find one Nazi, you're finding an entire network of them. This was at first fairly exciting work, but when you start to realize that nothing you are flagging is getting removed, then the dynamic starts to change. Belarusian secret police department. These people are using Facebook right now as we speak to coordinate their arrests and also to spread disinformation about their dissident arrests. Anna Ilyena is an activist with two kids. This is the Facebook post that got Anna Ilyena arrested. This person talking about Anna Ilyena being arrested himself got arrested for this post. I want you to meet Pavel. He got five years in prison camp for a Facebook post and Facebook is still letting them get away with it. Facebook has been warned repeatedly and has been told about simple, easy, even covert ways that they could act to alleviate the situation and help the Belarusian people. Facebook continues to do nothing. American persons like Facebook aren't supposed to serve and offer platforming services to specially designated nationals overseas that oppress and hunt and kill their own people. By its own rules, Facebook should be removing any group of people that advocates for serious offline harm against individuals, which these separatist groups are very plainly doing. Just about the worst thing that you could do, by community standards actually, would be to have Facebook serve as an actual fundraising arm for these violent groups, which it is actually openly admitting that it is now doing. We found 538 different instances of posts on Facebook that appear to violate sanctions law. Maria Coleta, she kills people for Russia and brags about it. This guy is a sanctioned individual calling for the death of Ukrainians who has killed Ukrainians and Facebook gives him a platform it's to do it. It's still live. Facebook doesn't even deny that this guy is there. They don't even deny that I have qualified to speak about this. Their only response was to say that they didn't have to remove those people. Facebook is arguing that they're above the law. This is a man who should not have a platform, much less a platform on a Western, American-owned social media network. We have multiple itemized violations for these pages like this. I can do this all day. I'm doing this because sometimes when you see some forms of injustice, it diminishes you as a human being if you don't speak out about it. And I refuse to let that happen to me. Facebook has used silence to bully me for years now. Now, free of that silence, I can finally talk back. Feels like I can breathe finally. Before Whistleblower 8, honestly, I felt a little bit like I was way over my head and I didn't have adequate preparation for it. They provided the support that I needed to come forward and provide my truth to the world, to, to become a whistleblower myself. We need public pressure now from Congress folks, from ordinary citizens like you and me, from stockholders, investors, to force the political change that is needed to cause Facebook to do anything. My name is June Cho. I'm a researcher focused on disinformation, violent extremism, and information warfare.